This video will cover an introduction to sheet metal. The sheet metal module allows you to create parts that have uniform thickness and may be flattened. Most of the functionality in sheet metal is the same as in the 3D model mode. This includes using closed sketches to initially create the sheet metal parts, as well as using the Design Explorer, Dimensioning, all of the standard icons, and pull down menus. The initial feature created would be a tab, contour flange, lofted flange, or a convert to sheet metal part. After the initial feature is created, flanges can be added to the linear edges. Attributes of sheet metal parts. Sheet metal parts have their own set of attributes that parts do not have. Except for stock thickness, all of these attributes can be individually changed for each flange. These attributes can be accessed by clicking on the Alibre gem, then Design Properties, and then Sheet Metal Parameters. Stock thickness is the thickness of the material used to manufacture the part. Changing this value at any time during the design of the part will uniformly change the entire thickness of the part. Minimum Bend Radius is the smallest allowable value that a bend can be. The default value is half of the stock thickness. Global bend radius is the default bend radius used unless specifically stated otherwise when creating a flange. The default is half of the stock thickness. K factor. During a forming process, elongation of the material occurs, a changing of the shape due to the radius pushing material into another location. The elongation is called the k-factor, or bend deduction. K-factors can be determined by using material charts. The k-factor value can technically be any value between 0 and 1. A realistic value will never exceed around 50% or go below 25%. Obviously, this is going to be dependent upon the material being used in the design. This image shows what happens when a flange is created in the physical world. Since most sheet metal manufacturers have their own set of values they use for the k-factor, make sure you use the same value they use. K-factors can be different depending upon the type of material being used, the intent of the design, and the type of equipment being used to bend the metal. Global Bend Relief This is a small cut made in the material to prevent the bend radius from causing a distortion in the metal. Types can be either rectangular, which produces a rectangular shape cut, or round, which produces a rectangular cut with a round on the short edge. Default values for global bend relief are type, rectangular, width, half of the material thickness, and depth, same as the material thickness. These values can be changed at any time during the design. This is a close-up view of a global bend relief feature using the default settings. This video covered an introduction to sheet metal. The sheet metal module allows you to create parts that have uniform thickness and may be flattened. Sheet metal parts have their own set of attributes that parts do not have, but most of the functionality in sheet metal is the same as in the 3D model mode. 